The derecho that hit Iowa last August destroyed 25% of the trees here, a loss that will take decades to replace. So you'll remember the derecho was essentially a tornado that hit the entire state and even 10 months later, the recovery effort is ongoing. Yeah, a lot of that work is falling on workers at the Iowa DNR. They're still trying to make sure the state parks are ready to be enjoyed by all of us this summer. Taj Simmons joins us now. You've got an eyeful of the work ahead at Big Creek State Park. That's absolutely right. The derecho right now is probably the last thing you want to think about considering how hot and sunny it is right now. But the storm left scars that are taking a very long time to heal out there. Mother Nature's power left DNR Rangers with years of work ahead of them and a terrifying memory forever etched in their past. Big Creek State Park took a big hit during last year's derecho. I've never experienced anything like that before. I mean, on the lake, there was probably six to eight foot waves crashing into the beach. Even now, topple trees are easy to come across here, including this one, which landed on top of a restroom. However, park ranger Jeff Poon says the storm wiped out many of the trees by the beach. We lost 20 shade trees that were heavily used. You know, in days like today when it's 90 degrees. It's a big job for Big Creek, but it is coming along. Poon says they have cleaned up the damage from many of the most popular parts of the park and repaired the boat docks thanks to federal emergency management grants. We just sat down, kind of looked at our heavy use areas and put those on the top of the list and just keep plugging away at it every day. That's a welcome relief for visitors such as Randy Peterson, who remembered how the derecho left parts of Iowa in pieces. Every time you tried to take a bike trail, something was in the way, so you couldn't take a, you couldn't travel your normal bike trails. The bikes are back, as well as the beachgoers. But Poon says it will take years for these new trees to bring some shade back to the waterfront. They're reminders of how weather can turn from peaceful to powerful in no time at all. It was pretty amazing to see what Mother Nature could do, and I hope I never have to experience that again. A little bit more help is on the way for them as well. The park is preparing to get a contractor to use heavy equipment to clean up even more of those downed trees. Now, the Big Creek Park Ranger says you should bring more water than usual if you go to the beach because, as you saw, a lot of those trees by the beach are gone. So there's not really a lot of shade to keep you cool out there. We were worried about that cyclist you got a <laughs> shot of. That guy looked hot and tight. Yeah, there are some shelters, but not that many. So stay hydrated. Thank you, Taj.